Hey there, this is my 2014 GMC Terrain. I need a new gas cap. How do I know I need a new gas cap? I've got to check engine light on. How do I know the check engine light tells me I need a new gas cap? Well, I don't know for sure, but it's a logical conclusion based on the circumstances. We're gonna find out in a couple of minutes if I'm right. Whenever you get a check engine light, you should have your senses perk up right away and you should pay attention to what your vehicle's you know, running like, what it sounds like, what it feels like. Look at your other instruments on the gauge, on your dashboard I mean, and see if everything looks okay. I'm talking about the yellow light that just comes on and stays on. If you get a check engine light and it's that flashing yellow light, pull over immediately, turn your engine off, call a tow truck. Don't run the engine. You've got a serious problem. Now my car seems to be running just fine. So the other thing you need to think about is what were you doing before the check engine light came on? In my case, I had just filled the car up with gas, left the gas station, and the light was on. I had had this happen one time before. I reset the check engine light. It stayed off, so it's fine. This time, the check engine light won't reset. I put two and two together, filling the gas tank and getting the check engine light. That's why I think I need a new gas cap. I inspected the, the cap and took a look at the, you know, the inside and the seal. See this blue gasket down around here? That's what seals against the tank. And, you know, it looks pretty good all around. I don't see any damage or cracks, but, you know, it feels kind of hard. It doesn't feel resilient and flexible. But um, this is a valve. There's a one-way valve inside of this that lets air into the tank and doesn't let air escape. And it could be that, you know, there's a failure in there. This is the fuel cap I purchased at the uh, auto dealer, 10 bucks. And uh, what comes in here is pretty much just a new cap, and it's got the tether, and some of the little clips or pins that attach, you know, the, this end of this tether. Uh, there's a variety of sizes in here, it looks like. Um, but we're just gonna put this in here, and then uh, before we connect the security uh, strap here. We're going to go see if the light turns off. Yeah, look at that. No check engine light. So, it looks like we've solved the problem. Now, if you happen to have the check engine light stay on, there is a little reset procedure you can try, and it's really simple. All you do is turn the car on for one second, turn the car off. Turn the car back on for another second, turn the car off. Turn the car on a third time for one second, turn the car off. Then start the engine. And if the check engine light doesn't reset after that, then you should probably take it in and get it checked by a mechanic. How do I remove this pin? I'm gonna just experiment here. I'm using a pair of side cutters because I thought they'd slide underneath and I could like lift it out. Yeah, there we go. Good. Just put this around here and slide that in. There we go. Good. Okay. I'm good to go.